Um, as Julia just told Camila as she walked up, congratulations on your whole, whole life. life. <laughs> that was so good. Hey, hey, before we start, we got you a little gift. You did? Actually, yeah. a few of them. Oh, my God. But the first, wait, are, which one are we starting with? Mm, I can't, I don't see any of them. You guys got me a gift? This, yeah. this one. Is it this deer? No. Yeah. Well, we're going to start mm. in here because we heard... Whoa. You're having an issue with your tattoo. Look at this. Oh my God, I am having Aquaphor. Where even is it? Oh, here it is. I forgot where my tattoo was. That's how bad <laughs> I've been, <laughs> well, badly now, I've been taking now care of it. Now you remember where it is. So Guys, you can put thank that on you there. so much. I'm gonna put that on there right now. Look, this was this is my tattoo. I posted it on Instagram. It's supposed to say it's a mystery, but it just says mystery. Yeah, you gotta take care of that. <laughs> Maybe know. if you put the Aquaphor on, it'll come back. <laughs> bring back the ink from under the skin well we heard when you mentioned that in that interview that you needed some we got you some so the That's goal really is to really just sweet. say what else you want in this interview and the person that interviews you next buys you something else okay i need i need a 48 hour sleep you hear that <laughs> where are you going next minnesota or somewhere you yeah. hear that, Minnesota? Forty-eight yeah. hours of sleep. They're just, they're just gonna punch me really hard. Uh, but this is your Knock this is your this is your big gift. Wait, guys, this is this from is all really of us sweet. at B ninety six. Guys, I love you we, guys at B ninety six. I really do. We you guys have supported me so hard. Mm -hmm. Mendez is my bay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true. This is a true statement. He got the same one for himself. I do have oh it. Oh my god, yeah. that's hilarious. We should, we should both greet him at the at the airport with this together. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I like it would actually be so hilarious. I hope he doesn't see this. If I actually like so the next time I saw him like wore this, it would be the funniest joke in the entire world cuz I just don't I just don't know how he would react. He would literally think who <laughs> Who is this girl? But well, like, why don't is she wearing? It. Just like take the jacket off. No, that's what like, I'm hey. saying. Like, just be like, hey. He'd be like, what the hell? You know why he's why he's cooking dinner for you or something? Yeah, you just walk out with that shirt. I mean, he's be busy. Like, he's on tour. He break up with anyway. me. You, you think so? <laughs> no. Um, we want to do a this deep dive of your entire new album. Yeah. It's, it's very rare we get an artist that comes through. This quickly after. Yeah, this is the album right here. It's called Romance. Yeah. Look at you. Look at me. <laughs> It's got liner notes in here. It's you a full thing. It's plastic. It's got plastic wrapping. It's a real album. It says Love You Mofos on the inside. It does say Love You Mofos on the inside. The album is actually called Love You Mofos. It's just spelled <laughs> R-O-M-A-N-C. <laughs> How are you feeling now that it's out? Like now that it's been out like a full 24 hours. I feel amazing. I mean, I literally, I just got here from, uh, from LA uh, this morning at like six in the morning. But today, like I have a day off in Chicago tomorrow, I'm just gonna literally read all the tweets, which I, d I did, I read a lot yesterday, but it's just so much, f it's so much fun to be able to like soak up their reactions, you know? Is there a certain song that you're kind of like surprised people are grabbing onto so much? That you're like, oh, I thought it would be more of this one than that one. Mm, that's a good question. To be honest with you, no, because I kind of, I love all of them for different reasons. So there hasn't really been one that hasn't really been one that surprised me. Okay. Yeah. We knew first man was going to make everyone cry. Yeah. Like but it's like butterfly kisses for the 20th century. Mm. 21st butterfly century. kisses. I actually hadn't heard that song till a couple weeks ago when I saw did you, you know that super famous YouTube video? Mm. Yeah. Of the you know what video I'm talking about with the with the butterfly kisses yes. where the girl there's like this woman and she she's having her wedding. And her dad passed away, and the son like sings the song. It messes you up. It messes you up. But I, I hadn't heard that song. It's really beautiful. I love songs about dads. And that's the first man vibe, though. Yeah, thank it's you. Just out here making people cry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love Hooray, making people cry. Crying songs. I love crying songs. They're my favorite kind of songs. When did the Let's process for this album start? Because we're gonna go. We're gonna deep dive into this whole thing. We're yeah. gonna go through the whole shebang. Let's. Because it's new. It's fresh. I'm down. So when um when did the whole process start? Like when you first put pen to paper and said, "Here we go." You know what? I think it must have been either like late last summer, um, or late like last October or something, when I came up with the idea for the album Romance, and I had a bunch of lyrics on my phone about love. I knew all the songs were gonna be love songs because that's like what. I think inspired it is like what I was living, you know? And um, I was like, I know I want to make an album full of songs about falling in love. And I knew I wanted to make an album called Romance months before I went into the studio. 
So I think, yeah, it was late. It was last summer, last year. So and during that process, I mean, you're, we're talking a year and a half. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things change in your life wow. over that course of uh, over that course of time. So, did it alter the way you approached the album as you went along and went along and went along? Because I mean, you're talking, you know, sixteen months, seventeen months. I know. Um, well, I think that in the beginning it was like I, I just grew with the album, and so in the beginning it was like romance was fully, I guess, just about. Uh, being in love and, and the beginning stages of being in love. And I think that as I was just experiencing more in, you know, I, I was like in my first serious relationship and, you know, things happen and, and things change. I just saw all the kind of, of the different sides to, to love and, you know, kind of what it feels like uh, when things get complicated, you know. So I think it just got complicated. But that's that's love also, you know, so I think romance, the idea of of romance and the album just got a little bit more messy. Yeah. Yeah. What was the last song that you wrote for it? Uh, used to this. And do you think that like kind of describes more of your current situation now? Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. What made you to decide to work with Phineas? Um, well, I mean, I just heard I'd heard his songs because he has incredible songs. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the, the work that, he, that he's done with Billy. And I was like, oh, my God, I just think he's so there's always people that come up that you're just like they're making different things. They're, they're making different choices and you can tell that their approach to making music is really different. And I'm just like I was just so excited to work to work with him. And I didn't even know. I didn't expect for us to because I didn't think about it for us to become friends and just have such good friend chemistry in the studio. You know, yeah. You, you two are like definitely like a good pairing for that though. Like when yeah, I heard I that so he helped too. you, I was like, oh, I love it. And I love how everything sounds sonically. It's so good. Thank you. What's your favorite song to perform right now? My favorite song to perform right now. Um, well, I'm really, I haven't, I haven't like, I'm not performing too many songs from the album yet. I think I'm just performing, what am I performing? I'm performing Living Proof, Senorita, um, Liar, Shameless. I think my favorite right now would be Living Proof, but I know that'll change once I start performing more songs from the tour. Living Proof is so dynamic and like eccentric every time I see mm. it. Like you perform it on like a different stage, like Thanks. what you did at the AMAs, and then I saw you on Ellen. And it's yeah. just how much like how much thinking ahead does it go into pl planning like what we're gonna do for Living Proof now? Yeah, I mean I love uh, TV performances because you really get to you get to play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a lot of thing ahead. But it's fun to just put on a song and like close your eyes and and dream. You know, that's like one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. Is like I get how lucky am I that I get to be able to like bring it to life. You know. Yeah, for sure. Is it a relief that it's out, or is it now? Or is, is it just the scary thing is starting to start, or is the scary part starting to happen, or is it just no? A I think it's a a big relief for sure because sometimes it, it's a really emotional thing for me with albums is like I feel like I'm I, I have this chapter kind of still in me and and when I when I put it out it feels almost like oh that that's a new chapter now you know what I mean yeah like it, it feels nice for me I said yeah but I have no idea because I'm not <laughs> I'm not like, yeah <laughs> I don't have any Happened talent happened to me with my second album <laughs> <laughs> last question uh it's almost the end of the decade yes it is you're Song of the decade. It could be for any reason. It could be one of it could yours. Be your it, it, could be it, it could be. It doesn't matter. Your song of the decade. That's such a good question. Thanks. We <laughs> thought of it ourselves. Oh my god. Well, okay. Have you interviewed other people before me? No. Today? Well, a few. I was just wondering what their answers have been. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think. I don't think we've. Have, is this the first time we asked it? Yeah. It might be the first time we've actually asked it. Though. Well, pressure. Um, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say One Direction's Kiss You. Wow. <laughs> wow. There we I go. I think that was at the start of the decade. I just literally, uh, no, I think that's it just right I have no reason behind that. That just is the first thing that popped up in my mind. But usually, if it's the first thing that pops in your head, that usually means that, you know. That it's the pr emotionally accurate response. And yeah. you can't put that song on and not be happy. You can't. So mm. it just reminds me of being 15 and on X Factor and obsessed with One Direction and excited about stuff. 
I know. Like, how great is it that, like, they're all putting out music right now? You're putting out new music right now. I know. And shout out to Niall. I love him. I know. Hi, Niall. He, he watches I love his new songs all of our too. stuff, so he'll, he'll be seeing this. Yeah, 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 yeah no for sure. <laughs> uh, keep being you. Congrats on being you, and congrats on the album. Hey, man. And Do stuff in, the, in 2020. Congrats on your whole life. Your whole oh. life. Hey, man, congrats <laughs> on your whole life, and congrats on your hair and your whole life. Thank Can you we so much. see the jersey real quick before we sign off from the Dunkin' Lounge Ooh, backstage yeah. of the B96 look Pepsi this. Jingle Bash? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Go Cubs go. Baseball season's only like four months away. And I'm on tour here next year. Yes. <gasps> Oh, we should, should mention that. that. Buy I'm tickets to go see Camila on, on tour the here in tour. Chicago. Uh, spend your money that you got your job today to go do that immediately. Yes, spend your money. Spend all the money that you have on that. It's Camila Cabello.